Hi, it's Imanago. So today I'm back with another maternity try on haul. This time the pieces are from Shein. So back when I was pregnant, I bought almost all of my maternity clothes from Shein. I did another small little collective maternity try on haul early on in the year where I showed some pieces from H&M and Primark and Calvin Klein, etc. But like my number one stop for maternity clothes was definitely Shein. So I will show you what I got and I will tell you about the quality and the fit and all of that since I was actually wearing it for a really long time all throughout my pregnancy. I bought most of this stuff from Shein really early on in like my first trimester like really soon after I found out I was pregnant. So yeah let's just get into it. I hope you guys find this video helpful and don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without further ado Let's just get right into it. So first thing I want to show you is this floral dress. This is like a short little dress with short sleeves. It has no stretch. I got this in a size XL. I would definitely say it fits true to size. I wore this a lot during the summer. You could actually also wear this when you're not pregnant because it just kind of cinches in right underneath the boobs and just kind of flows out. So I could actually just keep this dress and just continue to wear it. I might try that actually. I haven't worn this since back when I was pregnant, but I might try wearing it now that I'm no longer pregnant and see how it looks. But yeah, this one was really cute. I really like this one for summer. Then I got this dress, which was actually not a maternity dress. It's just from the regular line. I got this in a size large. It is an oversized fit, but I would still say that it runs big because even though it's oversized, like the shoulders fit fine on me and I'm an XL now and I was an XL during my pregnancy. Sometimes I think it's really cute, sometimes I'm like, ah, I don't know, but right now I'm really liking it. I bought this um, because of the sleeves. It has really crazy fun sleeves that kind of stand up on their own and then it just blows out on the bottom. It has no cinching at the waist, no nothing. Um, so that's how I could also wear this during my pregnancy without it being a maternity piece. So yeah, this one I will definitely wear again soon. Next up we have these Capri leggings. So these are maternity leggings. Um, they have um, extra room here at the front for your stomach. I got these again in a size XL. They fit true to size. I got these also for the summertime since they are Capri so they only reach down to my knees. So I just like these um, to wear during the summertime so I didn't have to wear full length leggings but I also didn't want to wear shorts because I didn't want my thighs rubbing together. So these were super handy. Next up we do have a pair of shorts. Um, I almost never wore these, honestly. I think I wore them a couple times. I got them in XL. Um, they were a little bit big. I would say these run big. So basically this whole front part is where your stomach goes and then this down here is like the short part. I don't know, they were just really floppy and just too big and just... I don't know. And even though I only wore them twice, um, they have already started like peeling. Um, at the crotch area. So yeah, I was not a big fan of these. Next up we have another pair of shorts. These are like biker shorts um, but for pregnant ladies because it does have um, the room for your stomach. These ones I also got in XL. They fit true to size. The length of the leg is not super long. It's about this long on the leg but they didn't roll up. They were long enough and I mainly got these to wear underneath my dresses during the summer because I didn't want my thighs rubbing together. It was very uncomfortable for me. So for that purpose they worked really well. And definitely this black pair I was also wearing out just as shorts. I did also get them in nude. Again size XL, uh, mainly to wear on the dresses. Um, this nude pair I could not wear by themselves. They were too transparent. But for underneath dresses they work really well. Also I want to mention that most of Shein's maternity bottoms they come with like a string like this and a little button so you can adjust the size so as your stomach grows um, you can make it bigger so that's really handy. I also got this maternity skirt. The skirt just has a bit more fabric here in the front. This one I also got in a size XL. It looks to be rather long but it's actually a mini skirt and the reason why it's so long is because it has to go all the way over your stomach. So for me to wear it and it to be a bit longer, I had to pull it down quite far. When I wore it, how it's supposed to be worn um, over the stomach is just a mini skirt. But it did look quite cute. I like the style during the summer. I like to have something 
um, other than just my leggings and my shorts because I wanted something a bit more feminine. So I like this piece for that reason. I also got a pair of maternity pantyhose from Shein. I bought so many pairs of pantyhose on Shein and so many of them didn't work out for me at all. I bought like at least four or maybe six pairs of maternity pantyhose. I bought maybe another four of like uh, plus sized pantyhose and nothing really worked for me. They were all too short. The problem with them all were that they were not long enough. All of them only came in one size. So even though they were plus sized or maternity pantyhose, um, they were just not long enough for me. This one was the only one that I was kind of able to wear. Um, the crutch would still drop down on me a bit, but it was doable. So I would wear these under my dresses and under my skirt. But yeah, the fit wasn't good and I would not repurchase them and I would not recommend them to anyone who is tall. Then I got this beautiful pink floral dress. This one I wore kind of early on in my pregnancy before I knew I was expecting a girl. I actually took some maternity pictures in this. It was beautiful and yeah it was before I knew I was um, expecting a girl. So yeah I just love this dress. It's really flattering, it's really cute. I got it in XL again, it fits true to size. And this one just like the first floral dress I showed you it just cinches in with an elastic at the, not at the waist, but right underneath your bust. So technically I could wear this now. You don't have to be pregnant to wear it. So maybe I'll try it out and see how it looks now. So underneath that dress I was wearing these leggings. So these are maternity leggings. So this whole panel here in the front is for your, your growing stomach. I got these in a size XL. They fit true to size. These leggings, I bought them in all colors. They have five colors. I bought every single color and I wore them all throughout my pre pregnancy. I wore them for so many months. I must have worn, worn them for like at least seven months and I just loved wearing these. They're super comfortable. They're not super thick but they're not super thin either. They're nice and long on me so they're tall girl friendly and I found these to really grow nicely with my growing belly even though these do not have um, the adjustable uh, band. These ones still fit me from my first trimester all the way up to my due date and I got the same leggings in this um, blue color again I wore the crap out of these then I also got them in this kind of dark forest green color I got them in a dark red color and finally I got them in black this was actually the color I started out with I bought one pair in black and when I got them and I uh, tried them on I was like I need every single color and they were also super affordable I think they were like five dollars each so these I was just so happy with. They were definitely a great buy because I wore them so so much. So one of the shirts I got looks like this. So this is actually a nursing shirt. So you have this panel in the front that you can open up and then you can nurse. I wanted something that I could also use postpartum. That's why I thought I wanted like a maternity shirt that um, yeah I could use during my pregnancy and then I could use it for nursing afterwards. And I got this in a size XXL. It was a little bit big on me, but it wasn't too bad. I would say it still fits true to size and I could probably have done a size XL. But yeah, I don't really like the look of this shirt. I don't think it's a nice looking shirt. It's not my style. I don't think it looks stylish. Um, if I wasn't pregnant, I would never have bought it. But I like the fact that it didn't have sleeves because I was pregnant during the summer and I wanted something sleeveless. And I like the fact that I could still use it for nursing. So yeah, that's why I got it. And I actually also got it in pink. This one I also got in XXL. I like the pink one better. I really like this pink color. But again, it's not a shirt I would ever have bought if I wasn't pregnant and needing a maternity and nursing shirt. Then I got this night gown. It says Mama on the front. <laughs> this one I also got because it was kind of a two-in-one. Um, I could use it while I was pregnant, but also because it has buttons. Um, I could use it afterwards um, to nurse and now I just use it as a big nightgown basically. The fabric is really soft, um, it's kind of thick, not super thick but definitely on the thicker side. It's not a super thin nightgown um, and it does have stretch. And this one I got in XL and it fits true to size. Next up I have another pair of black bottoms. So these are more like pants, um, they have kind of white they're kind of white at the bottom and they are more of like a synthetic like slippery material. The other leggings were more of a soft cottony material. This one is more synthetic and slippery feeling. But I really like these also. They have the panel for your belly. These ones come with the button and the clasp so you can adjust 
the band uh, with your growing stomach. I got them again in XL. They definitely fit true to size. Um, not too short either. Next up, I got two bandeau bras. These are not from Shein's maternity line. These are just from the regular line. I just wanted something soft that I could wear um, if I was wearing something that showed my shoulders and I needed a strapless bra. Because I do have strapless bras, but they were so uncomfortable. During my pregnancy, only in the very beginning, beginning was I wearing wired bras. Like really soon into my pregnancy, I was only wearing soft kind of lounge bralettes. And I remember back in April where I must have been like, like three months pregnant, I was wearing a strapless wired bra and I was so freaking uncomfortable. So after that, I was like, I'm done wearing wired bras. So after that, I bought these um, bandeau tops, kind of bandeau bras just to wear as I said, under anything strapless. But of course, these do not give a lot of support whatsoever. These were more just for like holding it in a little bit and then that was kind of that. I got both of them in a size XL. I think they fit true to size. And again, these are just for a little tiny bit of like keeping things together. They will not give you lift. They will not give you a lot of hold. No nothing really. Next up, let me show you this maternity jacket. This one I absolutely adore. I got it on sale. It was the last size left, a size XL. Perfect for me. It fits true to size. Um, it was only like 10 euros. So it was so freaking cheap and I wore this so much. It was just so beautiful and just perfect for the weather. And it's nice and big over the stomach. It's really hard to wear jackets when you're pregnant. And if you need to go out and buy like a proper maternity jacket, those can be so expensive. So I was so happy I found this. And yeah, I just wore this everywhere. This was basically the jacket I wore during my entire pregnancy. Yeah, it was just beautiful. It has a tie, so I would tie it under the bust. I just loved it. Next up, we have another top. So this is kind of like a t-shirt at the top but then at the bottom it kind of flares out it has a little bit of like a peplum kind of effect going on I think so again this is a maternity shirt as you know it has the peplum effect like the flow out over the stomach but it's also an, a nursing top because again it opens up here and you can nurse I can't tell from the little tag what size I got it in but I believe I got it in the size XL it fit really nicely. I really loved this top. This one was one of my favorite tops. I love the simple black. I love the stripes. It was just super duper comfortable and just really flattering. I thought this one was more flattering than the short sleeve or the no sleeve kind of tank top nursing tops. Next up we have this t-shirt. So again this is a maternity shirt but also a nursing, nursing shirt. This time it opens up from the side so you kind of open it up all the way in the front like this to nurse. And this one I also really liked. Um, this one grows with your stomach by exposing more and more of your stomach as it grows. Because here at the bottom your stomach will start to stick out more and more. This one is also fairly cute. I got it in XXL. I would say it fits true to size. Here we have another shirt. This is more of like a regular t-shirt type fit. It doesn't really flare out. Um, like the black one did. But of course it does have room for your stomach. It is a maternity shirt and again it is a nursing shirt. You can lift it up. And I just really like this because it said mama on the front. I actually got a matching t-shirt for my baby girl and she never ended up wearing it because she was born in late October and I'm not putting my baby in a t-shirt in late October. Yeah, the more you know. I didn't even really think about that when I was pregnant. That she wouldn't be wearing a t-shirt in October. She would be wearing long sleeves only. But yeah, this is a size XXL. I think it fits true to size. Next up, we have another dress. So it's kind of like a mustard color. Again, um, it just sits tightly over the bust and then it flares out completely just underneath the bust. This one is a bit longer. Um, it's not a maxi dress, but it's kind of a midi dress. It has a zipper in the back. It has these really cute puff kind of sleeves. This one was really nice during the summer. Sorry you guys, my battery died. But as I was saying, I got this dress in a size XL and I would say it fits true to size. Next up, I have another dress that's not a maternity dress. This is from Shein's Curve line. I got this first in a size 0X and it was too small. So I exchanged it and I got a size 1X, which fit me nicely um, during like my second trimester. I was wearing this um, during the summertime. So I would say this fits a little snug. It is 
a little small it runs a little small but it's really pretty i like the print it reminds me of like kente and african prints that's really why i wanted it and then it's kind of cinched in at the waist this time it's at the waist and not underneath the bust so it's cinched in lower so you have to be aware of that so you won't be able to wear this all throughout your pregnancy but definitely like during um my second my first and my second trimester i was able to wear this and it's really pretty um it is low cut in the front it's not super low cut but it is cut a little bit low so it will show a little bit of cleavage but definitely not too much it's still very like classy so i just love this one and again this is of course one i can wear now that i'm no longer pregnant since it's just a regular uh dress okay next up i have a maternity bathing suit so i bought this um, to go to the beach and to go swimming at the pool for exercise. Um, I was using it a lot um, at the very late stage of my pregnancy because I went swimming for exercise until almost like the day my daughter was born. So this is what the top looks like. It has little cups for your bust and then it flares out. It's almost like a mini dress. It's super flattering. I just loved wearing this. It made me really comfortable. And then the bottom looks like this. So it is kind of a you know a high-waisted bottom to kind of cover a little bit of your stomach and it also has some good coverage in the back and i got this one in a size xl i would say it fits true to size this one was just beautiful i loved wearing this it made me feel so beautiful and comfortable i never ended up um wearing it at the beach though because i never ended up going to the beach but definitely for swimming for exercise it was great okay the last few bits are underwear so first i got this five pack of um panties and um, i only have four here i don't know where the last pair went but these i bought pretty early on in my pregnancy because my own panties got so uncomfortable they would they would be really uncomfortable you guys i needed some maternity panties so as you can see these are really high waisted and then they have this whole insert here or not insert but this whole part up here is for your stomach and i got them in a size xl which fit me really good and they are 100 percent cotton which was important to me and i really liked these during my pregnancy the only thing is that they give you mad panty lines but they were comfortable and they were 100 percent cotton so i was happy about that so yeah i just got like a five pack with pink and kind of a nudie peach color a black a green and then i believe there was also a gray color but of course i can't wear these anymore they're way too big for me now i also got another pack of maternity panties and these are really low cut so your stomach goes over the panties and these ones only came up to a size large so i wasn't sure at all if i would be able to fit into them but they actually fit me beautifully and again they were 100 percent cotton which was important to me and i really liked the shape of these because they have the lace and they're cut a little differently so they didn't give me that intense panty line they still gave me a little bit um, but not too much at all and these ones i've also been able to wear um, after pregnancy so that's why i only have one pair to show you i believe it came in like a four or five pack but i'm actually using these so yeah that was a great buy okay and lastly i got some nursing bras so these were the only bras i was wearing all during my pregnancy as i said i didn't want any wired bras i could not be bothered and then here after uh, giving birth these are also all that i've been wearing i have not gone back to regular bras yet so these two look a little bit worn you can see they have been worn a lot this was the first pack i got i believe i got a five pack so there was one nude this one is the nude you can barely see it because it has been washed so many times and then there were two whites and two blacks and i got them in xl and they were pretty good during my pregnancy they fit really nicely but then postpartum um, they were a little bit too small because my boobs got a bit bigger postpartum so i actually ended up getting another pack I don't know how many were in that pack maybe another four or five pack with some other colors and this one is one of them so this is a size xxl so that pack was actually more comfortable the xxl was more comfortable so i'm really happy i got that and again as i'm saying these are still all that i wear for my bras they are just super comfortable and they give me enough support and of course for nursing they do have the little clasp that you can open like this so you can nurse and they do have a nice thick um, three hook closure in the back okay you guys that was all the pieces i got from shein during my pregnancy i hope you guys like this haul i hope you found it informative 
I think Shein is definitely a great place to go to when you need maternity clothing because you won't be wearing it for very long, you know? So I wouldn't want to cash out a bunch of money. Yeah, and that's it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And that's all. So I'll see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye-bye. It's feeling.